The Ghanaian Minister of Education, Dr. Yose, is still in the business of taking Ghana's education to the next level. The, the government is focused on changing the, uh, the existing schools and then our goal is to make sure that we don't build any new school without making sure we start right. And so we're talking about two new schools that we are, you know, commissioned and also why I feel the you know, current Minister of Education should be retained, you know, no matter the outcome of the Saturday's election. You're welcome to my channel. I'm Delicious Army. I talk Ghana. I talk Nigeria, South Africa, Kenya and all the good stuff related to them. Do all by liking the video, do well by subscribing to the channel. Ottawa Siribo Junior STEM High School was one of the schools that were, you know, commissioned by the Minister of Education. So you can look at it on your screen. This is located at Juambe Asante region of Ghana. Look at the classrooms, the kind of chairs that were used. I like the, the color, blue and white. Wow, look at the science laboratory. Wow, this is very nice. This is well done. Yes, this is well done. You can see even the staircase, everything was well done. It is spacious. Wow. And the kind of um, chairs that we are used, this is student friendly. Mm, and this is the school at night. Wow. Hmm, it's nice, guys. Wow. The second school that, you know, was also commissioned, Sunai Model Still Junior High School also. You can see this. This is also blue and white, but this one is, you know, an ongoing project. It's not yet 101% completed. It's an ongoing project with what you can see on your screen. What I've noticed um over the months is that i think ghana's color when it comes to schools is blue and white because most of the schools have seen seen the educational minister commission that always painted blue and white wow so guys it's election period and you all know that the um term of uh minister of education is coming to an end this man is one of those people that i really so much love when it comes to all the ministers that served on that is you know recent administration and then i want us to quickly listen to this his famous quote and then we come back to validate that i went to nigeria and i had i met the ghana high commissioner to nigeria who had lived in uh, india and the wife is a teacher in ghana so he said ah, ghana what happened this year your exams has changed i said what's going on he said my wife called me and told me that the ghana's exam is just like that of india this year so i was so happy i got a validation <laughs> no one can deny the fact that this minister of education took ghana's educational system from will i say 60 percent to a thousand this man did not just say we are going to commission stem schools in ghana he he kept to his words and if you look at the standard of schools that were built you will see that this man you know put in so much effort to ensure that the standard of education in ghana goes to the next level you all saw how ghanaian students are doing beautifully well in stem robotics i spoke about the um, school in the ashanti region of ghana that we are able to manufacture electrical tricycles. I did that video, I might put the link in the comment section, where they manufacture electrical tricycles. I want to ask, when was the last time you heard a school in Africa did something like that? To the extent of building dialysis machines and a whole lot, that is like, this. the, the vision this man has for Ghanaian education is not something that should be joked about is not something that should just be thrown to the corners if this man remain in, remains in position for let's say the next four years or the next eight years trust me ghanian education will, will be the talk of the world do not forget dignitaries from other countries are now coming to ghana to ask them how are you doing it 
you also the minister of uh, education in Kenya. He came to, to Ghana to ask Mr. Yo, how are you doing it? How are you doing it that Ghana's method of education is changing to the extent that they are now competing with foreign students? So I don't know if there is a way uh, this man can remain in position so that he'll be able to continue this good legacy. And like I said earlier, I'm not here to talk about or oh, vote so party, vote that party. No. But I just wish that there was a practice in Africa where when a leader does well, when I say well, exceptionally well, he will be given uh, you know, reasons to continue. If the ruling party loses the election, is there a way they can you know, consider this Minister of Education to serve under the new, you know, the new party that will come into power? Because I have seen things like this take a country backward. I have seen it a lot, especially here where I live. You will see a good person doing beautifully well in government, but because, let's say, their party lost or their party couldn't come back to power, that sector will just go down the drain. But if there's a process whereby even if the party loses or even if the party retains power, they can be able to handpick that person that did beautifully well and make the person retain the position. Because like I always say, Dr. Yo say is not just an educationalist. This man is a visionary leader. You all know he studied um, education and the rest in the diaspora. And he came in experienced. He's an experienced mind. These are the kind of people that you can hardly convince to come back to the country and serve. But because he loves Ghana, he saw that he wants to, you know, bring home all he has learned in the diaspora into the Ghana educational system to take it to the next level. And that is why this man came back to Ghana. And you can see the few years he served as the educational minister of Ghana, how Ghanaian education has skyrocketed. It has gone a wire. Ghanaian students are doing beautifully well to the extent that people from um, other countries are now asking Ghanaian government, what are you doing in your educational system that is making your students do beautifully well? I wish Ghanaians all the best in their upcoming election. Like I said, I wish them the best. They know who is best for them, but I just felt stay away. You know, even if this party doesn't retain power, let the best party win. You know, this man, can they just allow him continue this good work that he has started? My lovelies, feel free to drop your own opinions in the comment section. I remain delicious. I am here. I talk Ghana. I talk Nigeria, South Africa, Kenya, and all the good stuff relating to them. I'll see you in my next one, guys. Bye-bye.